Learning the Polish language is like being given a key to a doorway into another world. The ability to hear loved ones in their own voice or to embrace the poetic expressions found in song lyrics. It's something that I simply would not trade for the world. And in learning this language, I've come across some simple phrases that are extremely common to Polish people and don't really stand out to anyone. But to foreign ears, I believe they really reveal a lot about attitude and intention of what is being said. My name is Ryan Sokash, and on today's episode of Cult America, we will discover the attitudes within Polish expressions. Let's start off with an expression mostly used by Polish guys, especially in the village. It's used frequently at the end of sentences, and when used correctly, it will often diffuse stress, imply that someone else is incompetent, and possibly get a laugh all at once. The saying goes, no. Iush. Translated into English, we'd have, and that's it, or it's done. However, when you break it down literally, it'd be more like saying yes and already. Some guys say this phrase so frequently that it almost sounds like a verbal tick. And they will even go as far as to finish your sentences with Iush. Or sometimes when two guys who both like the expression speak, they'll say it together. This expression implies a very dismissive, carefree, almost lazy outlook, often with a twist of humor. However, as a foreigner, it might be very difficult to understand when is a good time to use this expression. Because Polish people are also dead serious about their formalities. That's a whole different video. But let me give you some examples of the correct situation to use this, at least as I perceive it. Example number one, let's set the stage. Imagine that you're talking with your guy friends outside near a garage where no one else can really hear what you're saying. You're joking around, locker room talk, stuff like that. You might say something along the lines of, my wife told me I needed to clean the kitchen, but actually I didn't really feel like doing it. So I just swept some crap under the carpet. No use. Or you might say something like, I wanted to go out on a long weekend with my family, but I have no more vacation days. So I just asked my friend doctor to give me an L4 medical leave. Eeyush! Sometimes you might also use this expression in a joking way about something that you'd never really do. For example, guy number one. Man, we have a ton of garbage after cleaning out the attic. This will be both expensive and difficult to dispose of. So guy number two says, then let's just burn it next to the river. Eeyush! You see what I mean? Most people wouldn't really burn garbage or bribe a doctor, but out of making a joke, you diffuse the stress. So now, let's talk about something you might hear if your wife overheard you making these inappropriate jokes with your friends. No wiesz so. Leonardo da Vinci once said that minimalism is the ultimate sophistication. And as it turns out, Polish offers a phrase mostly used by women that, in my opinion, really honors that notion, putting across a rather complex range of negative emotions within a very non-specific and non-sophisticated word. You'd probably get the idea without the translation, but I'll offer it to you anyways. The saying, no wiesz so, translates to, you know what? And unlike the previous expression, iush, this one probably won't make you laugh when you hear it, because if you do hear it, you're likely in trouble. However, if you have a Polish girlfriend and you'd like to provoke her into saying this, I could offer a few examples on how you might do so. You might say, hey honey, the new receptionist at work is only 20 years old, but she's so professionally dressed. She dresses so nicely. And when I complimented her on her look, she actually invited me to go with her to lunch. She's 10 years younger than me, so I wonder if we'll even have anything to talk about. But don't worry, honey, we're just friends. Yes, One time I was at a friend's house and he offered me some chips. And I told him, no, thank you. My wife is actually preparing a dinner for us. And he said, jestem zazdrośny, basically, meaning that I'm jealous. And his wife yelled from the other room. No, wiesz co? Hearing this is not always 100% bad news because in rare moments, girls will use this phrase when she is feeling shy or embarrassed. And not to turn this into a video about dating, but in my experience, the worst thing that you can get from your Polish girlfriend is indifference. So 
your crush, if she says, no vies so, with a whole bunch of attitude, it probably means that she cares and uh, that's potentially good. Widziałam, jak się patrzyłeś tej dziewczynie w dekolt. Hope that's good enough for you, Ryan. <laughs> the next phrase is one that seems to be shared by both babies and elderly people. You won't really hear smart people saying this one too often, and if a smart person does say it to you, it could mean that they think you are the stupid one. Nie, bo nie. Translated into English, no, because no. Similar to no wiesz so, this one is also very negative, but it also comes with a notion of absolute condescension. And it's disrespectful. When you hear someone say this to you, it's an indication that they are throwing logic out the window, that the discussion is finished. The people saying this phrase normally know that they are wrong in the discussion, but they have too much pride or power over you to admit that. The most horrifying thing about nie bo nie is that you'll normally hear the phrase when you are vulnerable. For example, you might be dealing with a low-level government bureaucrat on a topic that you don't understand and they sure as hell don't feel obliged to explain it. You might ask them, so why can't you accept my papers? And they might simply say, nie bo nie, no further explanation needed. Or you might live in an apartment building and wish to keep your kids' bikes in the hallway. After politely asking your neighbors, everyone agrees except that one. And when you ask them, politely, of course, to elaborate, they could say, nie, bo nie, and that's case closed. And the problematic neighbors have another trick up their sleeve, because if the tables were turned and you kindly asked them why they couldn't remove their bikes from the hallway, then they might either use the terminology that they chose to explain it in the first place, nie, bo nie, or they might just say, bo tak, which means because Yes. What I need to really emphasize here is that so much of what makes these phrases so interesting to me is the inflection and the charisma of the people who use them. For better or for worse, they reveal much more of who those people really are by choosing so few words.